welcome back to another lippy review. So I'm really excited to be doing this one because while I never had success finding the full size of it, at least I have the mini size, which is better than nothing. I will settle for that at this point. And it is the Carmex Daily Care with SPF 15 Peach Mango Lip Balm. Those of you who know me know how I feel about peach. Also about mango. So <laughs> this has my name written all over it. So it still bums me out that try as I might, I cannot find the full size of this frigging anywhere. If you've got any leads, let me know. Although locally here, I have checked every store. I've been checking for years now. No luck. So anyway, but that aside, we're just going to dive in. I got this as part of that multi-pack of the five minis. So it's totally cool by me. So format wise, it is a liquid balm and it's got just the rounded Carmex applicator. Nothing special, just round. <laughs> uh, packaging wise, it's just a tube, nice sturdy vinyl on it. So um, nothing to really worry about in terms of it being easily puncturable or anything. It's pretty good. Price on this, I honestly can't say because I can't find the full size of it. I don't know what they go for, but I know that this pack costs like eight or nine bucks, I think, at CVS, I believe, so for whatever that might be worth to you. These little mini tubes contain 0.18 ounces, so not terrible. It's still more than like a standard stick of lip balm, even as a mini, so can't complain too hard. Now, it is not organic. It's synthetic, but that's pretty much par for the course with Carmex, so not upset over it. Uh, like I said, it does have SPF 15 in here. I think that's the only special feature, so let's see how it smells. Does this little lip balm poop? It's like kind of hybrid between solid and liquid, but um, it, it's more liquidy than anything. Ooh. Okay, so this actually reminds me a ton of the Lip Smacker Mango Tango. Not getting a ton of peach out of it, but that's okay. The mango is good. Because of the texture it comes out in, you kind of have to like smush it around, but that's all right. A little messier than some, but nothing terrible. Mmm, you do smell it once it's on. There's the peach. Okay. Okay, that's actually... Now that it's on, it's actually pretty similar to, like, the Soft Lips uh, Peach Mango as well. It's got a lot in common there, too. So I'm like, ooh, I like this one. This one's hella nice. It is really, really slippery and slick. A bit thin, a bit watery, but that's kind of par for the course with the liquid Carmex. So, I mean, that's okay. I don't mind. Um... I don't know if it's perhaps what they use for their SPF, but I do get a little bit of bitter aftertaste in there, but nothing crazy. It's just a little bit chemical, but it is a little teeny bit off-putting, but nothing that's a deal breaker for me personally, but just observationally compared to other lip balms on the market, I always feel the need to point that out whenever something like that's a thing. But that wateriness, it almost feels like it's going to drip off my lips, even though it's not even that much that was put on. But it is high shine, as you can see, which I love, what I know other people sometimes feel differently about. So again, observations. I'm not sure that's really flavored so much as it's scented, but like your brain wants to read it as flavor too. It's weird. It's weird. But this does feel like it'll actually absorb into lips and moisturize rather than just sit there, which is also really nice. Uh, I have really good luck with this brand personally for actually helping do all things. So, like, when when it gets really, really bad, reach for Carmex. They do help a lot. Um, let's see. I do, unfortunately, have a bad feeling it's going to fail the drink test. I think the Cool Mint one did, too, if I remember right. So let's find out. Kind of half did, half didn't, so half a point, alright. But I am still going to give the wow factor, just because I think it's really nice. 
I'm really into the scent, but that's just me. If you don't like mango or peach, but more so mango because that's the predominant uh, scent here, you might want to steer clear. Although, if you don't like those two scents, why would you buy this in the first place? But, just saying. Um, but if you like those, I think you'll really, really dig this one, especially if you were a fan of the Soft Lips uh, Peach Mango or the Lip Smacker Mango Tango, because it has a lot in common with those fragrance notes. So what am I going to rate it? Um, well, wish it were more easy to find the full size of it, so for me, just the availability factor is a strike against it, because it's so damn hard to track down. Um, the wateriness, it just, I don't know, it... I feel like it could have a little bit more body to it without being sticky or anything, because this isn't sticky in the slightest, which is nice, but at the same time it could have a little more body to it instead of being almost watery in nature. Um, that aftertaste is not the greatest, plus that half a point for the drink test. Uh, wow, I can't believe that it's getting rated this low, but this is a six and a half out of ten. If this were more widely available in the full size, I would bump it up to a seven and a half. So maybe depending on the area you live, if it's more easily attainable, maybe read it as a seven and a half. But for me, it's going to be a six and a half. So Cause apparently if I use this all the way up and want another one, I have to buy another five pack of the minis just to get this one, which is kind of a pain in the butt. But anyways, that's it for this one, guys. Just my two cents for whatever they might be worth to you. So... You know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye!